I did this intentionally to fix a problem, but it felt so, so wrong. Ugh. Yeah, don't plug networks into themselves. They scream at each other until they die. And also, this is called a dry patch, where you have two lines connected, but they're not connected in the network closet where they're supposed to be. And one of these is how you end up with a very angry Lexi at your door. And I have another fun story about one of these that that screwed me up for three days and caused me to rip out have to rip out drywall. Yeah, you thought IT was boring. Chromebook charger pile, intern for reference. Before we talk about the number of Chromebook chargers, I just would like to establish officially the intern as a unit of reference. So now that we have our unit of measurement, the intern, um, do Chromebook chargers break this often? Or are they just like USB-C and just getting beat to hell? I genuinely don't know. I've never owned one. My friend tried to remove the scratches on his iPod with sandpaper. It, it look. Oh my god, on top of the touch wheel and everything, it looks industrial, I'll give him that. The back of my iPod Touch is all screwed up because I like landed on it during a bike accident, but it still doesn't look that bad. Airdrop! Yeah, I, th I think they fundamentally misunderstood how that worked. Students spilled nail polish on computer. Mother tried to clean it and uh, washed off 26 key. Oh no! Yeah, the nail polish honestly would have been fine. The acetone is what did you in. Good lord. The hard drive was clicking. Yeah, in an IBM Travel Star. 20 gig hard drive in one of my laptops. I came home from summer camp and had all the pictures, all the memories from seven weeks at summer music school. And uh, I booted it up to back everything up. Heard a couple clicks and then just this horrible <laughs> as the hard drive did exactly this. Fun times! Computer lab, after the flooding of the University of Tasmania, and the flood had to be that much of a jerk to be like, no, screw all your computers, but we'll pretend, like, we'll stop right right above the monitor line. All, all things being said, though, this, this actually doesn't look like that bad. The lock on this safe that holds laptops at my school. Eh, uh, it's, it's just the, it's just the electronic mac lacking as an, <laughs> you still have to get inside to actually control the thing, I hope. Customer, battery doesn't last long. That's, that's, that's not a battery, that's a pack of gum. Friend's laptop was sent back like this from Razer. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh man, Razer's always been good to me. I just switched to them from ThinkPad. Oh, hopefully this was a one-off or it was damaged in shipping, but it doesn't look like it was damaged in shipping. We understand the words in this job ticket, trampoline online, but, uh, but they did not make sense until we got there. Uh, oh, oh. Huh. Had no idea you could stream a trampoline. Working IT at a high school. Kid left his Chromebook on a lit stove. Did, did we see this before or just did another high school student cook their Chromebook? Look, I don't care if you don't like Chrome. Stop trying to turn it into Firefox. Like, it's it, 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 that's not how you do it. It's not by setting it on fire. Demo unit at my local Walmart. I can't believe it still functions. This was actually how I started to pick phones and other electronics and, and gear and stuff, is you go to the demo units in, in like the really busy stores, the ones that everybody's playing with, but nobody's gonna actually buy. And you see which ones are still working, or at least if they're not charged, like which ones are still intact. Cause if they can hold up to 500 people poking at them all day, they can hold up to your reviews. This doesn't look like much, but this little asphalt repair destroyed a 1,200 foot fiber run. Easily looking at $20,000 repair. Yeah. Yep, I'm amazed that they, they were able to find the fiber line, because fiber lines, even even big ones, are not large. Two or three inches across. They had to find that and do asphalt repairs specifically on that, and then sever all of the glass connectors inside an armored, jacketed fiber line. Ah, happened at least once a year in New York. Visited grandma and confiscated this one. Ah, another bomb. Grandma's got a grenade. I left my old MacBook on my shelf and didn't use it uh, over one year. That's what happened. My God. I don't know if I'm just lucky or if I, what, I guess I like have a stack of laptops over there. Some of which I have not touched in like four years and none of them are like this bad. That's wow. Is that an OEM battery? CS device fell into a machine. I don't actually know what a CS device, oh. Customer support, maybe? Ah, uh, that's a lathe, I'm guessing. <laughs> but the machine was hungry. Shipping thousands of dollars worth of computers with no packaging material. Yep, on the plus side, they are ThinkPads. Uh, so honestly, you're probably good. But I assume this is, you've bought bulk uh, refurb off eBay. My hard drive died and I tried to fix it, but got stuck. Can you recover the data for me? <laughs> what data? 
you have some very expensive coasters. Braided cable is not what they meant. No. Oh, this is an affront to all that is holy and unholy. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. Okay, 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 I'll explain. When you have two very thin wires next to each other, you can get something called crosstalk, which means that electrical signals create a little field and, and they'll interfere with signals on another wire. There's a very specific way that cables are designed and made for data called a 568A and 568B standard. Um, that prevents this as much as possible. And then certain types of cables have little plastic pieces to prevent crosstalk even more. And they're shielding all this. This just breathe. This is a crosstalk generator. This is just everything will be screaming at each other all of the time. It's a tiny Tesla coil of disappointment. Oh, I hate it. Impressive, but I hate it. Did it arrive as expected? Ah, uh, uh, I'm not sure how many surfaces it was supposed to end up as. Um, I'm pretty sure the four was, was the version of the computer, not four separate surfaces by the time it got to me. A keyboard after 20 months of gaming. You use X to crouch? Heretic. The grooves promote cooling. <laughs> Die. Now, you know, I'm just going to let Linus Tech Tips rip into this one. I'm not, I'm not even going to touch it. Daily reminder to clean your motherboard. I will find you and everyone you have ever loved. And make them all drink the soapy water you just put your motherboard in. Three screens and zero mounts. Oh, that's, did they just leave it like that? That's a lawsuit. User put in a help desk ticket. Uh, my mouse does not work. Uh, I've tried replacing the batteries and it still does not work. Oh, okay, we'll just take a look at, what did I say last episode? Why do people keep plugging USB things into ethernet ports? We're lucky enough to have ethernet ports to begin with on like the few laptops that have them left, please stop. How my coworker removes RAM. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Oh yeah, for the uninitiated, uh, the white tabs are supposed to click out and the RAM comes out. The black part is supposed to stay on the motherboard because it is attached to the motherboard and it's not supposed to come off. If it has come off, you are going to have a very bad day. My friend at uni found a Wi-Fi cable. Oh, okay. Well, there are RF antenna and extended cables and uh, 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 oh, Wi-Fi cable. What? What? The, the orange colored network. Why is that in quotes? Cable. Uh, located below can be used as an alternative to the normal Wi-Fi service. You have ClearPass or or the, the ruckus version of... Uh, you have something that makes you log into the Wi-Fi, you see, library. Uh, and you don't, you don't know what a network cable is. My brother-in-law bought a cheap two terabyte SSD, but he said it was slow and not working properly. Uh, so he wanted me to check it out and... Is it a USB drive? Is it a USB drive? Uh... No, it's four USB drives. What? You went through the trouble of like raid zeroing four USB drives to sell a cheap SSD. Just, just make an SSD at that point. Like this is too much work. Found this on site yesterday. I have no words. Oh, I do. It's bring me the freaking infrastructure engineer who signed off on this when the building was built. God's name. Oh. What is this? Also, your battery need, needs replacing. But yeah, I hope they have port security turned on. Because otherwise, just like, oh, just, hey, can I just use your bathroom? I'm going to plug into your network and and it's it's over for you. Why my keyboard doesn't work? I will send you whatever deity you choose. I'll let you pick. It'll be nice. It'll be pleasant. It will be quick and swift and destructive. A friend of mine is a nurse and a family brought this in to be given to a patient. Did, did they eat the patient? Okay, uh, winding back two steps. I can't quite make out the model number, but this is either a T or an uh, whatever the education series is. This is not a bad laptop. Like this is, this. it's the condition it's in. I, I classify this as a biological weapon. Taking five-year-old SSDs out of eight-year-old laptops to make some 10-year-old desktops less crap. That is all of higher ed. That is literally all of higher ed in a nutshell. Like just scrapping slightly less crap to put on crap to make it slightly less crap. Have you tried turning it off and on? Uh, yes, that, that's how I got the Doom Slayer. Sup? Customer put toilet paper between the CPU and cooler because he read online it was almost as good. You get that from a Facebook group? I'm surprised it didn't just ignite, but I guess the flash point of toilet paper is probably upwards of 400 Fahrenheit. Oh, I hate people. Custom painted Surface Pro 4. Now I'm not against painting laptops. It can turn out really cool and uh, oh dear God, what in the, did you give a toddler a can of spray paint? 
and like an alphabet puzzle. And a, how, however, I forget how much these are. The pros are pretty expensive. What is wrong with you? Stop, get some help. This is not the way to transport your company's equipment. Unless, unless it's being recycled. In which case, like some of this, like I can't tell from the backs. So, like, hang on, there should be some drive caddies in the back for SSD. Yeah, uh, no, no, I can. There. No, there are some. No, there's still some drives in there. No, that's, that's, that might be live equipment. You're God. I'm just gonna hope it's being recycled. I'm just, that's, that's all I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, my PC went turn on. Not sure why I made that so whiny. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Okay, this is not this, the customer's fault. Like, uh, if you... No, no, I'm not going to blame the customer or end user on this at all. Because there is a reasonable expectation that if you plug a power cable into a power supply, it will not melt. Three weeks ago, during a road construction, an excavator ripped off uh, a, a... Oh, no. Backbone of our neighborhood, uh, this 96 core cable has been laid down, but hasn't been terminated. 136,000 people have no internet connection uh, since then. Yeah. Yep. I'm surprised they have just the fiber just sitting out there like this. It's definitely not New York City. And another small explosive. The forbidden Capri Sun. Hey, if you pop it, you enter third person view. Uh, saw this under the aesthetics. Tag on uh, Pinterest. Oh no. Wait, no, this is the same laptop, isn't it? This, no, this laptop, if I remember correctly, belongs to a painter. This was intentional. This is fine. This is the, the laptop that they actually use in the studio and they work with large format canvas. This is fine. I'm genuinely okay with this because it's, it's, it's a computer running in a rough condition. It should be able to do that. Middle school kids uh, managed to get into library and treated the projector like a pinata. I, yeah, no, I can't say what I feel like you should do to the middle schoolers because somebody will get mad. But, uh, but I feel like the projector has some ideas and we should hear the projector out. I straightened uh, bent pins with tweezers, uh, but it won't work afterwards. Oh my lord. I admire your dedication in trying to fix it. You can you can bend pins, by the way. Like, if, if you bend a few on the corner, you can fix it, and, 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 like, very, very carefully. So, like, the idea was sound. But there's just too many. How about a warm graphics card backplate? Why why is this tech support card? This is cute. I I hope the you know the card isn't too hot for the kitty, but I assume the kitty would, you know, leave. That was the case. This is fine. I know there there are gonna be purists that are like, oh, there's lint in my computer, and oh I'm losing three degrees because there's cat fur and it, and, and those people should go outside. <laughs> and maybe pay less attention to the piece of circuitry that draws triangles very, very fast in a metal box on their desk, and instead pay attention to the kitty. Just pulled four discs and a debit card out of their PS4. I'll take houses with small children and unprotected electronics for 300, please. This sums up how last week went. Computer was in backpack on top of car, fell off, and then was run over by multiple vehicles. Me too, computer. Me too. My girlfriend's Xbox 360 hard drive was rattling. Uh, can I recover the data? No. <laughs> no, no you cannot. The way the electrician repaired his own mistake at my home without notifying me. Optical fiber entry link. Oh no, they should notice. Did you just call? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a cold splice, which is a tiny thing that you put for electrical connections and then you cramp it down really hard and it and it has conductive gel in it and it it splices cables without you having to twist anything together. A fiber optic cable is light. It is light. It it, it does not You're just aiming laser light into jelly. My last office, we had one of these up on the uh, break room fridge. System restore disc. <laughs> Do not erase. Erase now. I mean, these are just obvious jokes at this point. Thanks for packaging my drives up, Amazon. No problem. Wait, no, th this is... Oh, weird. Oh, okay. So an addendum to this one. There's supposed to be a cardboard insert that kind of... I've, I've, I've gotten, I've ordered drives like this and they come in this package, but there's a cardboard insert around it that kind of suspends the drive in the middle. They forgot that part, clearly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Had a feeling of this belonged here. Router card, large Wi-Fi router guard cover. Locks about 90% of Wi-Fi router EMF. While you can still use the router, locks 5G. Okay, okay. This is a Faraday cage. For the uninitiated, uh, Faraday cages uh, block a lot of radio signals, depending on how big the little holes are. Uh, if you want a sort of example of this, go look at your microwave and it has a bunch of little holes, and those holes are smaller than 
the microwave wavelengths so that it doesn't come out and cook you. It just cooks your food. This is sold as, they, these are sold as a fear mongering thing. There are legitimate uses for them, but this is a fear mongering thing. It, your router will still work. And I am of two minds of this because if you're in an apartment building with lots of people and everybody buys home routers designed to cover entire suburban houses, everyone should turn down the power on their Wi-Fi routers because it doesn't help their signal and it just interferes with everybody else. So if you put your router in one of these and you're paranoid, you could still use it if you were like five, 10, 15 feet away, it would be fine. And people around you would not have to worry about the channel interference from your router being on too high of a power setting from the factory or Best Buy or wherever. So I'm kind of in favor of this. I mean, if you want better signal, you just take it out of the box. Like this is, <laughs> uh, that's not how this works. Please shut down computers after each use. It will help keep them running virus free. No, in fact, if there's a virus already loaded and you reboot the computer, it, it could propagate. This must be by the same person that wrote the sign for the Wi-Fi cable. I said to delete the data, not destroy four SAS disks. Uh, well, what, what, what security clearance was the data at? Are those, are those bullet holes? Th th I can't tell if those are drill press or bullet holes. They, they look concerningly like bullet holes. But yeah, if, you, if you're just deleting the data to reformat and add a partition, it's gonna stay in the same, you know, security environment, sure. If you're deleting data to then move those drives somewhere else, no, 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 they, they 26 pass erased and, and a nine mil. <laughs> I try to do the right thing, but my family is a bunch of savages. There's, there's a USB port right you're right, 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 freaking dark. I know how this happens though. Like your phone's dying and you go and you grab a charger, apparently a really old five volt charger, slowest one on earth from like upstairs and you're already holding the charger and the cable and you just plug it in. You need, you need to get charging cables. This is what I did. You, you need to get charging cables and plug them in there and just leave the cables there and then people will actually use them. That's what I found. Micro SD in an SD card adapter in an SD card to USB adapter in a USB 2 to USB 3 adapter. Thanks, Apple. What is a USB 2 to USB 3? You know they sell USB-C to, to SD card readers, right? Like, that, 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 that's a thing. And, and if you're running a USB 2 card reader, like, you're not using SD cards a whole lot, because holy crap, that would take forever for like 10 minutes of 4K video. Shout out to the cell phone repair shop that quote unquote worked on this Xbox Series X before it came to me. Oh. Oh, that's a burn trace. Good Lord. Yeah, and just a glob of... Okay, so, 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 uh, to explain this, uh, there are burned... Uh, the, the little white teeth thing in the top left-hand corner, all those teeth should be exactly the same. Um, there's a burned one. It's just gone. The solder on the left and right, uh, that should be clear and look kind of like a Hershey kiss. Uh, it, it's cloudy and cracks and it just looks terrible, which means the solder was too, usually too cold. I'm not even sure what they were trying to attach. Like, what is this mess of ribbon? I feel like I, I'm seeing carnage and I still don't know like what happened in the accident. But yeah, get your, get your stuff repaired at a reputable shop, like an actual reputable shop. If it seems too cheap, it's, it's not, it's not worth it. Don't do it. DJ Fire Hazards setup. Oh, DJ Fire has, ah. I thought that was an actual DJ or something. I, I mean, he's outside, So you know, it's fine. I don't care. It's, it's, not, it's not gonna be my blown up stall thing. Even got the backup. Why is all of this in the, is this, oh my God, is this a child again? Oh, I didn't scroll up. I'm sorry, this is a tweet. Shouldn't have cheated. Wow. No, you know what, That that's justified. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's appropriate. As long as you finish it off with arson. Burn the whole house down. Returned AirPod Pros to an Apple disposal center in Shenzhen. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's, I know they can't be like resold or anything, but like, cause they go in your ears, but that, eh, so weird. Kinda cool. I hope they can harvest like some of the batteries and stuff though. Customer describes a slight burning smell. Yeah, I, I'm thinking the, the pancake uh, destroyed a lot more people's sense of smell than, than we currently realize. And we're gonna be finding that out uh, as we go along. Okay, this is a repeat, but I did take this exact image to my work colleagues and I just posted it with the very little context or anything and, and it just caused pain for everyone. It was lovely. <sighs> Some people, yeah, the, um, these, these people make, I try not to judge people's, you know, use whatever you want, use Mac PC, you, you, you don't argue, I don't care. But people that do this, <laughs> it's just lazy. S stop.
One of our managers combined their modem and router because he wanted the speed to be better. Well, I know this was, was for a long time ago because that's a that's one of the old links. But um, yeah, putting them having your router and modem cuddle does not make them any faster. Like it, it. In fact, it'll probably make it slightly slower because there will be no ventilation and he will build up. Sorry. My flight feels like it's going to be longer all of a sudden. The in-flight entertainment system seems less than stable. <laughs> no such file or directory. Mm, they got some corrupted storage there. And a bad interrupt. Oh, you got all sorts of problems. These kind of things always give me anxiety because I'm sitting there like, I should be fixing this. Oh, I feel pressure to fix this. Desk stop. I, I mean, it's a very effective doorstop. You have to, you have to agree. It fits a wide surface area of the door. It comes in just below the window. It has a great grip, great weight. Good doorstop. Good doorstop. You try doing that with a Microsoft Surface, okay? The computer at my factory's die store. Yep. There is, there are pieces of infrastructure that will make you, your skin crawl when you discover that they are being run on Windows NT or like, you know, badging systems and HVAC and building management systems and security cameras even. Yeah. Yeah. You, you thought, you thought Windows XP and Windows for, for workstations was obsolete. <laughs> it's still alive and well. Traveled 1000 kilometers to fix five brand new desktops, which are slow for strange reasons. Strange reasons. <laughs> yeah, this, this, did you read the unpacking instructions? <laughs> did you look in the computer? Just to be like, ah, oh, maybe there's some packing material. I should, I should leave it, you know, just move. So the computer can breathe. Is this still a new warranty? It should have been made with better material. Brought into my tech shop today. Uh, uh, better, better material for what? Put it on a stove, I think. I don't think your warranty covers being a Dumbass. This key after 10 years of entering orders at my grandmother's shop. Okay, that's actually cool. I like, I like stuff like that. I like when you eventually replace that keyboard, I would take the enter key out and like just keep it somewhere, like put a little, little tiny frame for it and just put it somewhere. Cause like that, that's, that's thousands and possibly millions of sales. I don't know what your grandmother sells, but like that's many, many of these. Like that's, that's the entire business right there. That's cool. I like that. Cracking painters. Oh no. What they do now. I'm staring at this. I'm, I'm still staring. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. That took me longer than it should. That's, that's a VGA cable usually in boardrooms. It's an older type of vid video cable. And they just painted right into the whole cable. And that's probably run up into the ceiling. And you got to pull the entire thing and run a whole new one. Oh, God. Dispatched uh, about a computer that wouldn't boot. Uh, it was epoxied to the desk. They had to cut it out for us. They epox... Okay, well, I'm glad they had enough faith in the computer to think it would be there forever. All I got to say. Landscaping guy uh, cut the cable and tried to fix it. A for effort and creativity, uh, but not quite. The customer said uh, they got a few channels, but internet was a no. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, landscaping guy. I actually, wow, I, you know, you got the right idea. C cable, uh, like cable internet and cable TV is on coax, and that's basically like a one core and another little outside core. It, it, I'm simplifying it. But this guy kind of got where, you know, looked at it and figured out kind of what was going on. And, and yes, it'll get TV, uh, TV, but you won't be able to broadcast stuff back at this point. Like you won't be able to get internet because you won't be able to send a request. Saw this on Lifehacker today. Wait, oh, it's it's the clip art at the top of the articles. It's life. Have you never read? Li they make this cute, stupid art all the time. Like it's not. So oh my God, are you actually taking this seriously? That just comes off as incredibly neck beardy. I'm sorry. Dell hard at work. Uh, brand new out of box. Trying to image a got no boot device found. Oh, whoops. I have staring at the left side of it, trying to read the label or something figure. No, they just didn't plug it in. Wild. It seemed like it was getting bigger. Then the screen popped off. iPhone 3GS. Ah, <laughs> we've made another bomb.